Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Trace video and today we're going to be playing Ride 4 and we are going to be using the Aprilia RSV4F right here in the French Riviera. So the first things we're going to do is just a little bit of a time trial of the full circuit and then we're going to get him to a short-ish race in the shorter section of the French Riviera. Now this track is actually not a bad track, I've had some mixed feelings with the French Riviera circuit, I know it's been in Ride since pretty much the beginning, I do believe it was even in the first ride game, and I like it, but I don't like it at the same time. I find it a little bit long and somewhat a little bit boring. There's a lot of straights, but there is some really good corners in there as well. But I think the best part of the French Riviera is part of the short circuit. In fact, the entirety of the shorter variant is the best part about the French Riviera. So this video is going to literally be a one-lap sprint here in the French Riviera full circuit, and then we'll move to a five-lap sprint in the shorter course. And uh, I've got to say, with this bike, with absolutely zero electronics, engine brake on two, but anti-wheelie and TCS remain on zero, should give me quite the challenge. Of course, I will be starting from the back of the grid, allowing the riders to move on through, and then we'll be trying to pick them off one by one. Now, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to this one. I will mention that, uh, unfortunately today, we will not be doing a live stream. I'm not really feeling that great today, and I'm pushing through the uh, sort of illness to make sure I get a video done for you today. So I hope that you enjoy this particular video, and it kind of makes up for the lack of live stream for today. Now, uh, I want to apologise for not being able to stream, but uh, rest assured, as long as I feel alright next week, we definitely will be doing more Ride 4 online races for the next live stream next Sunday at 6pm GMT. I think that's uh, generally the time I'm always going to be streaming, so 6pm GMT on Sundays seems to be the perfect balance for me. So I hope you uh, stick around for now, watch all the videos of the week, and then of course we'll tackle the live stream for the following week. And to also mention, as I guess I've kind of neglected to mention, it'll be another championship that we'll be tackling for next week. I don't think it'll be a team championship, it should probably be just a naked bikes one, so I can't wait for that one. But for now, we must go over to the shorter version for this particular circuit, and we're going to be on board the Aprilia once again. We have five laps in the short variant, not particularly long laps, and uh, I can't wait to see what we can produce in the shorter version of the French Riviera. So Jakob Renato was a little bit slow to get off the line there, so I did allow him just to pass us by. It's just carnage up on the right hand side there. Gold Jeans and Ellis Mercer have found themselves down already. The Frenchman in his home track, and now there's some more carnage. It's another Frenchman, who has, excuse me, it's a French lady, Suzanne Gobert, as we try and go around not one, but two riders as possibly three, not quite. Ooh, had to use a bit of rear brake to slow the motorcycle down, otherwise we were going to bump into the side of Jet Glenn. And now onto the right hand side, we'll hopefully bring on the power and get ahead of Paul McCartney's jet. And let's see if we can go around the outside as we bring on the acceleration, bring on the power as we now slam onto the brakes. In fact, Jet Glenn's going to be massively out of kill today. He's going to absolutely clatter. Oh my goodness. Now another French person's gone down, Valérie Tremblay. This is ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. I don't know what... Paul McCartney's jet Glenn was doing there, but goodness me, it was a jet going into Valerie Tremblay. But the first lap is over, and now it is time to start the second lap here in the French Riviera. Cedric Mallet getting a little bit out of shape there, just a little bit too eager on the brakes. In fact, I'm going to see if I can fancy a move up on the inside of the Frenchman, but it's not going to happen, is it yet? Trying to make the move, and we do actually make the move. Now, something I've not mentioned yet, which you're probably going to hear from a lot until this is the new norm. This video was recorded in full native 4K and uh, I hope you're watching it in 4K. If you're not taking advantage of that then you're definitely missing out. If 4K is not available to you then do not worry you can still watch it in 1080p and the content should look pretty fine and dandy. But we're now going into the left hand a very 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 difficult left hand of a turn 8 as we go in behind Ralph Wack as we slowly bring on the acceleration. Now the Aprilia is very very wheelie friendly and since we turned off traction control and since we turned off anti-wheelie we do need to be very smart about this. I'm also kind of taking it easy right now because well I'm not feeling that great and the concentration wasn't exactly there for this particular video but I'm feeling good in the sense of the Aprilia is a nice bike to use and as long as I'm smooth on acceleration I think we should be good and it's considering it's a 1.8 second advantage to Isaac Burns We've still got a bit more. Sharp intake of breath was what's required there as we push Ralph Wack out of the wide there. Goodness me, I can't even get my speech right. I was trying to say Ralph Wack was pushed wide and we made the move up on the inside. But it's approaching the penultimate lap and we lost 
even more time there, ladies and gentlemen. It's a two-second gap to Mr. Burns, who's leading the Grand Prix right now. So Mr. Burns is leading the GP. Uh, Simpson, he is leading the Grand Prix. There you go, that's a bad Mr. Burns impression for you in this particular video. As we now go on the left-hand side, getting super close to the corner of turn 10 there, and now onto the right-hand side for Pont for turn 11. And this is going to start the penultimate lap here in the shorter circuit of the French GP. So bringing on the power, we'll get across the line now. It's the not quite the fast lap of the race, a 36 thousandth of a second gap to the previous lap, so a very strong showing on that particular lap as we now go on the left hand side to Paul Mears for turn two. So now onto the right hand side, going into the left hand here, braking gently. You pay attention to the bottom right corner of your screen, you'll see how much brake is being applied for that particular corner. It's very, very gentle and just controlled. Always controlled. All my braking is controlled. There shouldn't be a point where I'm going to go absolutely mental or just stupid into a corner. If that's the case, I'm guessing I've taken someone out and it's probably been an online session when it mattered the most. But now onto the left hand side for turn 8, just approaching 10 to 2 here in the French Riviera and now the lead is around a second. We can do this, but we need to be absolutely crystal with it. If we pull a little bit too many mis punches or mistakes and things could be going wrong, but let's see what we can produce now across the line for the second to final time. Across the line we do improve the lap time to a 1 minute 491, 5 tenths of a second quicker than the previous lap and Isaac Burns surely must be feeling the pressure right now as we go on the left hand side for Paul Mears, slowly bring on the acceleration, don't want to be lifting that front wheel up because we're going to have a bad time keeping it down as we now go on the right hand side pushing it wide, just chucking a bit of rear brake in there just to slow the rear down, just enough to chuck the motorcycle into the right hand side and now to the right once again keeping it tight to the wall, not too tight to the next wall, a little bit of a wheelie and now we have the slipstream, four tenths of a second, where can we make the lunge, you need to start, oh, kind of make the move now, leave it any later, in fact he's going to run it wide, we can go up the inside here, beautifully, oh what, oh my goodness we just touched the rear tyre, it didn't, it didn't look like we did there ladies and gentlemen, Ralph Wack is now into the lead, we have about three corners to get this job done, oh my goodness, the pressure is on more than it ever has been now. Is the streak over, ladies and gentlemen? I've not lost a Ride 4 video in so long. Oh my goodness, bring on the power now, because we desperately, desperately need it. Do we have enough to get across the line? Oh my god. Is that second place? Oh no. The streak's over. The streak's over, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no. Guys, I need you to hit the like button and subscribe to cheer me up on that one. The streak's over, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what to say. Well, upon that note, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you really enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video. Ciao for now. Oh, hi. Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Trace content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Trace video.